mad stunt man talking yes. to us. Um, yeah. Can you tell us how you got first got started in music? Okay, let's go. I first started when I was 16 years old, you know, um, singing and chanting the Jamaican style in the streets of uh, Flatbush, Brooklyn with my friends. Uh, Culture P was one of my friends. He still is my friend, Culture P, that's his name. But his first name is Colin, you know, and uh, whole growing up, he, he used to have a, a, a DJ set and we used to go on that set and, and grab the microphone and start singing over on the record. You know, if we get an instrumental, we get to sing on top of the record, you know. So yeah. that's how it all started for me. That's what I was saying. And you're, you're originally born in Trinidad, is that correct? Yes, I was born in Trinidad, Belmont, Trinidad in Port of Spain. Belmont is in Port of Spain. That's the, Port of Spain is the capital of Trinidad and Tobago, you know? Yes. And uh, I was born on Leon Hill. I left Trinidad at age 10. Age 10, I left Trinidad and uh, came up to the United States with my brothers and sisters and uh, been living in the United States ever since the present. How did you get started with Real to Real, Eric Marillo? I met Eric Marillo in 1992. Um, a friend of mine who is also a musician and entertainer, his name is El General. He's a Panamanian artist from Panama and uh, his name is El Henajal in Spanish. So in English would be the general, you know? Yeah. And yeah. a barber, a Panamanian barber used to cut my hair, used to go get the fancy haircuts back in the day. As a teenager, we get our haircuts. You know, yeah. them times I'm in my early 20s now. I'm like 26. I was actually 25, 26 when I met the general, you yeah. know, and uh, he introduced me to Eric Morello. And when I met Eric Morello, um, we started doing music together and what and that's how it started for me as real to real. Where did the name The Mad Stuntman come from? <laughs> you know, people always ask me about that name. The name The Mad Stuntman came from a TV series, The Fall Guy. If you can remember The Fall Guy, he does his own stunts when he's uh, when the movie theme comes on. He, you know, I'm the unknown stuntman. And, and <laughs> that song goes on and on. And I was like, you know what? All my friends have names of reggae, of are, are, are famous actors. They have yeah. na names of famous actors. And, and the only, the one person with all the names was Lee Majors. Lee Majors, he did the $6 million man. I don't remember if you know the $6 million man. Yeah. And, and also from the $6 million man, the bionic woman and uh, Lee Majors, uh, the fall guy. So I got my name off of the fall guy. And his real name is Lee Majors. Yeah. On the Six Million Dollar Man, his name is Steve Austin. Yeah. And he's also the Bionic Man. So there's a lot of Jamaican artists. One of them name is Lee Majors. One of them name is Lee, um, Steve Austin. The other one name is the Fall Guy. One call itself the Bionic Man. Yeah. So the only thing left from this guy is he's a stuntman. Yeah. But he's an unknown stuntman, meaning he does his own stunts, you know? So yeah. that's how I got my name, Stuntman. And the mad, mad came in when my friends used to dare me to talk to a nice girl walking down the street. <laughs> and I would go talk to the girl, you know, get yep. the phone number and everything. That's how the mad Stuntman name came about. For other people who don't know, you waited, I like to move it, move it. How did it come to fruition from the very start? <laughs> I like to move it. We were, the first record Eric and I did actually, the first record that was just a track, just a track. It was Go On Move. That one was. And it was just a track without words or anything like that. And the music would play and then the words would come back. Move. So that was just an underground track you know? Yeah. And from us doing the underground track, Eric already had music from El General, what El General had recorded as Real to Real. Um, that one was called Buddha, Funky Buddha. So that one went, Buddha, that funky Buddha, boy, nice. Buddha, that funky Buddha, take the seat out, man. That was El General's voice in that song. So wow. while El General wasn't with Eric Morello in Real to Real anymore, that's where I came in and Eric, you know, formally pushed the name Real to Real featuring the Mad Stuntman. And we used to go around promoting Go On Move in clubs and wherever we need needed to go, you know. And uh, when I had went back to New Jersey studio where Eric used to have his studio, Double Platinum Productions in New Jersey. And, uh, 
He said, Stuntman, come to the studio. I have another, I have another track for you. I have another track. So when I got to the studio, I heard the track. I was like, okay, it sounds really good. But this time, Eric Morello, this time, I'm going to put lyrics to it. Instead of just having the hook, I'm going to have hook and verses. So he was like, do what you got to do. So I yeah. said, okay. I started writing. I started writing. I was looking for a hook because I already did go on move. Go on, move, make your body groove. So I was like singing a lot of different hooks. I was singing a lot of different hooks, but it wasn't actually hitting the song itself. So I started out of the blue came out. I like to move it, move it. 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 Eric was like, keep saying it over and over. I like to move it, move it. I like to. So I was saying it over and over, over and over. And then he said, why don't you sing it with your Cookie Monster voice? <laughs> now, we grew up on Sesame Street, so Cookie Monster is always the one with the rough voice. Yeah. So I was like, I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. And he was chopping it and chopping up and pacing and cutting and pacing. And I don't know what he was doing, but he said, come out of the booth. When I came out of the booth, the song had a hook. I like to move it, move it. And then we had what's the answer back the hook. So from answer back the hook, you like to move it. And that's how I like to move it came out. But then I always had the words, I always had the words in, in a Jamaican style. Woman, you're cute. You don't need no makeup. Always had that. But I never had the hook. I like to move it, move it. That was never there at all. When I wrote, I like to move it with the verse. I was like, woman, you're cute. You don't need no makeup. Original cute, but I always had that. So Eric was like, I had so many words on the verses. Eric was like, you know, you don't have to sing all those words that you got there. Just pick the best ones you want to sing and repeat them. And that's how it goes. So I was like, woman, you're cute. And you don't need no makeup. Original cute body. You want to make my mother. Woman, you're cute. And you don't need no makeup. Original cute body. You want to make my mother. Woman, you're physically fit. Physically fit. Physically, physically, physically. Woman, you're physically fit. Physically fit. Physically, physically, physically. Woman, you're nice. You're sweet. You're fantastic. Big ship on the ocean that a big Titanic. Come on, you're nice. You're sweet, you're energetic, big chip on the ocean that a big titanic. Come on, I like to move it, move it. So that's how the song came about. Wow. Because the, the song, the song is based on women, beautiful without any makeup. Their natural beauty is no makeup. You look good. You look good. I'm gonna follow you wherever you go. Yeah, an anthem to women. The anthems, yeah, that's uh, anthems for, for, for the women. Yeah, it's, I think everyone knows that song. It's, it's so iconic. Uh, just, did that change your life when that song started taking off back in the 90s? Yes, it was. When we were in, I think we were in Chicago promoting, again, Go On Move, you know, and I liked, we did, I like to move it and i think um sh um not, not strictly rhythm strictly rhythm i was signed to strictly rhythm in, in new york but um emi positiva emi positiva emi from england picked up the song they picked okay. up the song and they worked the record and they that's where the record like really became huge in england in europe the record just blew up we had to fly to England to do 22 shows in two weeks wow 22 shows in two weeks including mtv Everything that needs to be done uh, in England, we had was to do it. And that's where it all started. Everything just started blowing up, selling over 3 million copies of the song. And 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 that's uh, it's been success, successful ever, ever since then. Wow. Yeah, I, know, I know my kids love that song. And I remember first when they, they first watched Madagascar, they were just obsessed with that song. How did it come to yeah. be on Madagascar? Um, you know, the song became on Madagascar by by them. Um, I think DreamWorks DreamWorks contacted uh, the record company, Strictly Rhythms Records, and or oh, Positiva EMI, and the deal goes through them, the record company. It do it, it doesn't come through the artist. It goes to the record company. Ah, okay. I, I was thinking, yeah, we go straight through to through to you. Yeah. Uh, who do you look up to as a as an artist? Like, who's your inspirations when you're starting? My inspiration artists: um, Shabba Ranks, uh, Ninja Man, Lieutenant Stitchy, um, Peter Metro, um, uh, Yellow Man. You know, all of these artists like uh, Tenasaur. All of these Jamaican artists, dancehall artists, um, Cutty Ranks, and 
That's how I learned, you know, to become better by watching them and listening to how they sing. And sometimes I would repeat what they sing in, but I would not um, sing it as my own record. I would repeat that to become better. So I practiced with how they would sing and I would like sing over their song or sing their song or repeat them, you know, and that's how I would learn to write my own lyrics. In yeah. order to write my own lyrics, I got to hear what they sound like and what they talking about and how they bring it about the dialect of the Jamaican uh, patois, you know, and yeah. knowing that I'm from Trinidad and I speak a different language, I needed to learn how to speak Jamaican, you know, in order for me to start writing these songs that I was writing, you yeah. know, and, and, and I learned it with my friend called Chapi, you know, we like two peas in the pod. If you see me, you see him. If you see him, you see me. That's how <laughs> we was rolling back then, you know, yeah. he was always looking good and sharp and, and just singing, you know? So yeah. that's how it came about for me. Man, that's so cool. Uh, you're, you're always interacting with your fans too, which I love. Like on Instagram, I see you talking to everyone. And you're just always in a, in a good good mood. You always have a good vibe. How do, how do you stay so so positive? I, I like I like... I like to talk to my fans. It's, 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 it's a connection. It's a connection because thank God for social media. Yeah. You know, social media is used in a good way and it's used in a bad way. But for artists, you can use it in a good way. And this way you can get to actually see the people that spending their hard-earned money on your music and liking what you like, you know, because yeah. we never see the fans. We only see the money. Yeah. So now we can get to see the people that support us and love everything that we do, you know? And it's only right. You guys are considered family because you're spending money, you know? You're not a friend, you know? I, you're beyond a fan, you're a supporter, you know? And you're also family. Fans support a family. That's what it is. And when we go out and when we put a record out, we expecting you guys to support us by buying our, by buying our music, you know? And, 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 and what we have to do in return is embrace you guys, thank you guys, you know, show up at the shows, you know, take autographs, uh, take take pictures, do what we need to do to make our fans happy. Because at the end of the day, our fans are spending their hard earned money to make us happy, you know, yeah. in order for us to have a nice car or get a big house or get a swimming pool or whatever. It's our fans that's doing that for us. So we have to acknowledge our fans, our supportive fans. This is our 2022 moving on you know wow that's great um are you, are you working on anything right now oh yeah right now i'm working on some brand new stuff brand new stuff is going to be coming out for the rest of this year balance of the year we're gonna you know release songs i don't know which songs yet to say <clears throat> which song we're going to release but something would be coming out from the mad stunt man you definitely going to get some dance music whatever type of music there is you know you'll get a versatile of different styles and 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 features of uh, up and coming artists and known artists. You know, I'm currently working with a Spanish group named Proyecto Uno um, with Kid G, Nelson Zapata, Paolo, and their manager Rafa. You know, I'm working with these guys. It's such a pleasure. I've done songs with them in the past. Um, one of the songs is called Mueve La Carrera. It's, it's called Move Your Body. It's actually on one of the real to real. Um, I think it's on the second um, CD album and uh, a song that they did with us called Latinos. They miss son Latinos and we're, we're there featuring me on yeah. their song. So those two songs was very um, huge and successful as, along with I, I Like to Move It, but I Like to Move It is the mega one, you know, that, yeah. that, that that's the one that shaking the world right now, you know, yeah. for 28 yeah. years. You hear it everywhere still. It's yeah, and it, and it never gets old. Everyone loves it. Everyone's always happy when it comes on. Yeah, and I'm 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 also working with some up with upcoming artists. Um, I have an artist. Her name is Hata Gal. You know, she yeah. she will be coming out with her own material. You know, I have certain different artists that's coming out like Mr. Chin. Um, I'm working with Ice Face. I'm working with um Guns. I'm working with Rhythm and Vibes and Signal. That those guys are producers in 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 the Netherlands, you know, they, yeah. they work on soca music and, and they, they bring out hit songs like uh, Linky First, the Jamaican guy that sing, sings uh, Rockin' Kameen, that's the name of the song, Rockin' Kameen, they produced that track and uh, it did successfully, 
you know, I'm working with them also and different varieties of uh, producers that I'm going to be working with, not to mention names, but I'm going to be working with them to uh, be back, to be back in the spot where I need to be, where I left yeah. off. I would be right back in that spot, you know? So yeah. the, look out for the mad stunt, man. I'm coming back. Definitely. You're going to have a lot of support. Everyone everyone loves you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. I really, really appreciate that. Yeah, that, definitely. If if you could work with one person now that you haven't worked for, who would it be? Wow. Uh, I think it would be Sissy Peniston. Okay. Sissy Peniston. Finally, it happened to me right in front of my face wow. and I just can't hide. Yeah. I definitely want to work with her, man. Yeah, that's, yeah. That'd, that'd be the best collaboration. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 She, she's a she's a she's a good friend of mine too, you know. But you know, I want to definitely work with her. She has a beautiful voice, very talented, and I, I'm also um, working with Althea McQueen. Althea McQueen. She was smooth touch when she used to be with uh, DJ Eric Morello. You know, smooth touch. Uh, you could Google that, Althea McQueen with Smooth Touch. And um, we're currently working with her. We have a single coming out along with Kid G, featuring Kid G from Proyecto Uno, Althea McQueen and myself. That song is called Rolling. That's going to be out pretty soon. And uh, no Pacific date yet, but it's going to be out this summer. It's a summer song. And it's a song about everybody picking up your roller skates and you're going roller skating, having fun in the roller rink or on the streets or wherever you roller skate. It's just about roller skating, everybody just having a good time. Oh, wow. Um, so um, also, if you could give any advice to someone who is brand new to music, they're, they're just getting started and they, they want to make their first song and get into the industry, what advice would you give someone or yourself when you're first starting? You know, the first thing I would say, you got to be humble and you have, even though you and, and you have to be hungry. You have to be hungry. You have to be starving. You have to really want it. If that's what you want to do, you want to sing, you want to be in the music industry, you have to want it. You have to work hard. If you want someone to notice you and someone say, hey, I have someone who can sing. And you ask that person to sing and he doesn't want to sing because he said uh, his throat is hurting him. What song do you want me to sing? If somebody asks me to sing, I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing to my best ability. I'm going to rap to my best ability. I'm going to chant to my best ability for them to like me. Because you never know what could happen right there on the spot. You know, you always got to be humble and, and follow your heart. Don't let nobody discourage you for your goal, what you see for yourself. And always respect people. Always respect people in the music industry. Because when you say something bad, it goes around. If you say something good, it goes. So it doesn't matter what you're saying. We have social media now. I was signed to a record company that my music did well with the record company because the record company was behind. It. Now everything is social media where you can put your own music out. But if you're going to put your own music out, you got to be careful. You got to read the fine prints. If you're signing a contract, you got to get a lawyer. Let the lawyer look at the contract. And if the lawyer tell you it's a good contract, you can sign it, then you can sign, it, you know? And if you're underage, let your parents look at that contract and let your parents get a, a, a lawyer and let a lawyer look at the contract. In life, you always got to be humble and sing good music, yeah. sing clean songs, do what you got to do. Sing about women. You can sing about cars. You can sing about money. You can sing about anything you want to sing, but just leave the violence out. You know, it works for some people and it doesn't work for some people. I would not come and start singing a dance record with violence in there. I always got to sing about women, sing about fun, sing about party. The fellas like the music. The fellas like the girls. They like music. They like to drink. Everybody hands in the air and we're doing the dance, yeah. you know? But follow your goal and have some respect. What warnings would you give people? Is there anything they should be careful? Stay out of trouble. It's very easy to get in trouble. Very yeah. easy to get in trouble. If you see trouble down the street in front of you, walk the other direction. You know, don't try to be tough. Don't try to be... Don't try to be the upfront guy because you want to be brave. Yeah. If you want to be brave, you back up and you walk the other direction. If you really want to sing and you reach in for your goal, <clears throat> follow your goal, follow your dreams. It's very easy to get in trouble. The world is very sensitive right now. The whole world is very sensitive. If someone step on my feet, I'm going to tell them something. You understand? Because yeah. it's not worth it. 
is not worth fighting. And you want to be a singer, you focus on singing. You know, if 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 you want to be an entertainer, and 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 you you hire hire bodyguards, hire bodyguards that you don't have to carry a gun. They will. You know, hire somebody that will protect. You know, do it. Do what you're supposed to do. You know, and stay out of trouble because we don't. The world need music. The yeah. world need music right now because music is unity. And music is love. Music brings people together. And once we get together, it's a strong, strong, strong universe out there. So sing good music, leave the negative, let the negative be negative, and you keep being positive. Yeah, we need, we need more Mad Stunt Man. Yeah. And the Mad Stunt Man is coming. I'm coming! <laughs> 2022, we got you. Yes, 2022, 2023, 24, 25, 26, 27. We have a lot of years left. We have a lot of years left, but we have to be careful yeah. because you never know when it's your day to go just like Yeah, definitely. Got to keep creating, keep putting it out. Got to keep creating, got to keep doing what you got to do. That's good advice, yeah. man. When, when you're not making music, what, what can people find you doing? What, what do you like to do outside of music? When I'm not making music, I'm like uh, actually making music, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> so it, 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 ne it never, it never, it never really, it never really stopped, you know? Yeah. I mean, I have a, I have a family life, a quiet life, family life. You know, I have kids, you know, my kids have kids, you know, my grandfather, you know, um, my kids, they rap, you know, I have kids that rap as well. All three of them have three, three boys, three men. Uh, yeah. They rap, they into music, you know, they, they doing their thing, they doing them, you know, they, they sometimes they want their dad to help them. But most of the time they don't, they don't want their dad to help. They yeah. want to do what they want to do. So, you know, you got to have them follow their dreams. Yeah, you know? for sure. Got yeah. that in direction. Yeah, yeah. And, and and I actually have songs with, with um one of them. One of them I have songs with that's going to be out there. And I have songs already out there. If you follow the Mad Stuntman Unleashed, um, you can follow the Mad Stuntman Unleashed and you can look for songs like Dancing in the Rain, um, Winter Time, the song Winter Time featuring one of my sons and their friend, you know? Yeah. And it's it's a it's a song about winter time. Like when winter come around, you can have fun in winter time. You don't have to wait for the summer to have fun. You can yeah. actually have fun cuddling with your girl, drinking hot chocolate, drinking hot tea, roasting marshmallows, doing whatever you want to do. But it's a good, good song. It goes like this. It's winter time again. Summertime has come to an end. Put on your sweaters, your Tims and your cashmere sweaters. And let's go out again. And let's go out again. Snowball fighting with your best friends. Spending many nights locked in. There's nothing better than being snowed in a cabin. For the whole weekend, winter time gonna have fun, tumbling down, tumbling down. Winter time gonna have fun, tumbling down, tumbling down. I'm gonna send you that song. I'm gonna, wow! You can yeah. go up on on YouTube and it's up there. You know? Uh, yeah. So we didn't, I love it. We didn't really get to push it because we released it, I think, in 2016. Yeah. But we never really get to push it and put the work behind it. And all that stuff, but it's up there on on, on YouTube. Like yeah. if you start googling it, it's up there. On, it's it's like an album of thirteen songs. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out. That's yeah. awesome. And I, I I also have a song with Hadaway. Oh really? Yeah, I think that song released in. I think that song was released twenty twelve. It's called yeah. Up and Up. Up and Up. Look 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 out for that Hadaway featuring the Mad Stuntman. Up and Up. The the up the up. Uh, Paper Chaser remix. Up and up and up and up, up and up and up and up, up and up and up and up, up and up and up and up. Gotta get up, gotta get up, gotta get up, gotta 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 get up, gotta get up, gotta get up, gotta 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 gotta. And I want to, and I want to. Everybody looking at the time. That's how the way singing that. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, I've been doing a lot of, uh, you know, working on a lot of music. I write a lot, you know, and stuff that I didn't really put out yet or whatnot and stuff that really need. But the good thing is, as an artist, even though I start off with a record company and I could produce my own self, I also produce my own self, too. And I work with other producers so we collaborate together. It's always good when you're getting back out to have a producer that's a known producer that's know what they're doing. And, and to get back into sync because the time change. 
The yeah. time change, even though it's changing, the era is still in the 90s, that 90s feel. That's yeah. why I like to move it is so successful because it doesn't even feel like a 90s record. It's a no. 90s record, but yeah. it doesn't even feel like a 90s record, like it's been out, like, like it just came out yesterday. Yeah. You know? So that's the, that's the great thing about that song. Well, yeah, my kids were just playing a game, uh, Fortnite, the other day, and that song yeah. was on the game. Mm -hmm. And I, I said, I'm going to talk to you. They, they didn't believe me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, and, and they said, they, they thought it was a new song, you know? I was like, no, this is... Yeah. It, you know, the song is all over, and, and a lot of people, when they see someone playing it or dancing to it, or they hear it on a commercial, people always send me messages and, you know, you know, but these things I already know, you know, I already yeah. know is nothing that they can do that. I don't know already, you know, yeah. but I'm, I'm always, I'm always humble because I know the era that I came from, you know, I'm always yeah. humble. And, and also even that's going on. I'm trying to focus on my new music, what I'm going to put out, but I always got to, it always take me back, pull me back. It always pull me back. Come here. Where you going? Where you going, stuntman? You sing, I like to move it. What are you doing over there? Come over here. Yeah. So it always bring me back here. So, you know, I can't leave away from it. You know, I'm still carrying the torch like the Statue of Liberty in New York. I'm still carrying the torch with that song. Oh man, you're, you're, the, you're king of it. It's, it's never going away. You're so great at what you do. I think everyone appreciates it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. It's, yeah, it's always exciting. When I, whenever I see you online, it's exciting. I'll try and jump on and talk to you and, and I'll see what you're doing. But it's, it's amazing watching you work. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. And this, uh, so so oh, where where in Australia you live? I'm in a... In Port Hedland, it's a small, small mining town in Western Australia. But originally, I'm from the East Coast, but I moved over here. Okay, okay. My dancer, my ever first dancer, Baby. Baby, she's from, she, she, she Baby, she's Spanish, Puerto Rican. And uh, she's from, uh, she grew up in New York City, you know, and uh, she lives now in Australia wow. with her family. She lives in Melbourne, Australia. Wow, cool. She was, she, yeah, she was the ever first. The first dancer Real to Real had was Baby. And then after Baby, we got another dancer. Her name was Eileen, you know? Yeah. And so forth, we was moving between different different dancers and stuff like that. So it was always Baby and all. Yeah, she's she lives in, more, in, in Melbourne, Australia with her family. You know, she was our first dancer, Baby and Eileen. And then we had Lori. And then we had... Marlene, and then we had Kim, and then we had, I think, two other more. I can, and then we had Asia Wax. Yeah. We had Asia Wax, and then in the I Like to Move It video, the girl that was dancing in the white booty shorts, her name, oh my God, I can't remember her name. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, you know, I gotta say, I gotta praise these women because they made the show yeah. what it was, you know? Because the women, they love me, the guys, they love the girls. The guys love everybody. The women love everybody. So yeah. it was a good showmanship, you know, could never forget about the women that were there, you know. I don't get to glorify them enough, but I'm going to glorify them on every interview. I have an interview. I have to glorify the women, the dancers, the real to real dancers. Yeah, shout out to the dancers. That's awesome. Shout out to the dancers. Boop, 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 boop. They make me look good, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, what's been your most exciting experience around the world, anywhere that you've you've had, Korea? I uh, traveled to so many countries. The people, the fans, been so great. I enjoyed myself. The food is great, you know. And the screaming fans, oh my God, the screaming fans is amazing. I really miss those days. I yeah. really miss those days, really, you know. But I'm still, I'm still traveling. I'm still, you know, doing one or two shows, you know, when it comes around, you know. And yeah. I'm, it's going to be more, it's going to be more and more and more and more as the pandemic, you know, sits back a little bit because we are still in the pandemic. We got to also um, be careful where our masks for yeah. whatever is going on in this world. We just have to be careful, you know? Yeah, for sure. You got to stay safe. Yeah. yeah. Has the pandemic impacted you a lot? Um, Actually, I had caught COVID. I had caught COVID, okay. you know? And uh, if unfortunately, it was not that serious with me. You know, it only lasted a month, you know? And uh, ever since I haven't caught it at, at all, I got all my, uh, I got my vax, I'm vaccinated. Yeah. You know, I got my booster. I got my Pfizer shots. 
and my booster. So, you know, so far I'm following all the rules. You know, every country I go, I got to take a, 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 a COVID test to make sure that I'm negative to travel. And that's what it is now. So everywhere I go, I have to take a COVID. If yeah. I'm going to a country, I got to take one. When I'm coming back to the States, I have to take one. Yeah, it's good to to be careful and stay safe. It is scary. Yeah. Are you going to be coming to Australia anytime soon? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Australia, I'm going to be coming to Australia, man. You know, you know, Australia, they, they do the big concerts out there. Yeah. You know, the big, huge concerts. I'm waiting for them to, to call me. Yeah. I'm waiting for them to say, hey, real to real, come on, let's go. Yeah, I think I think the name of it was So Pop. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna have to get you in. Yeah, they're gonna have to So Pop. If yep. you're watching, you gotta get me in So Pop. I'm gonna be So Pop. Yeah, yeah make it happen. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. I, I love Australia. I've been I've been to Australia. You know, yeah. and so um, do, do you get to work with a lot of different people from different countries? I mean, different countries. I didn't really get to work with anyone as yet, besides Captain Jack. I did a song with Captain Jack. He did one with me um, on his side is going to be coming out pretty soon um i have a song with him called drinks and girls drinks and girls drinks and girls drinks and girls let's party now let the party pop until you fill my cup i'm not too drunk to drop let's party you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> That's you gotta check you got to check it out on YouTube. It's on YouTube, but it didn't, again, it didn't get the full big trust. Boom. Yeah. You know? Just still lay back until you, whenever, you know. Yeah. That's, that's how it is. But I'm guarantee, guarantee you that I'm working very hard. If you don't see me on my Instagram or my Facebook, you know, I'm writing, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing family life, you know, just living, you know, just doing the things that I love to do like everybody else. I, one thing I want to tell my fans, I am human just like you, you know, I, 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 I uh, feel just like you. I cry just like you. I sob just like you. I may not eat just like you because I'm bigger, you know, <laughs> but, but, you know, I, I would, I would love my fans to know a little bit more about not just an artist coming on the stage to dance and sing and give you autograph and embrace you, you know, is good for you. I want also my fan to be a fan friend, yeah. a fan friend, meaning you have, you know, you can talk to me, you can say hi, you can come up on my social media and share it with everyone. Say, hey, this is the real guy that's saying, I like to move it, move it, follow him, follow him, follow him, follow him. I want all the, I want all the follows. All the follows, follow the mad stuntman from real to real. I am the real person that sings. I like to move it, move it. I'm the singer, songwriter for it. And I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move, move it. it. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you always bring joy to everyone. Thank you, um, man. Appreciate this interview with you. I appreciate you. That's yeah. No, what do you got planned for the rest of your day? My rest of the day, I'm going to continue. I'm about to write a brand new song. I'm writing a brand new song. Don't have a title for it yet. You know, I'm just going to go into my zone and just start writing. And as soon as we get off this interview, that's what I'm going to do. You know, okay. I'm always writing. Yeah. And from start to finish, what, what, what's your process for, uh, for a song? And how long does it take you to put together a song? Sometimes a song would take one minute to write or five minutes. Sometimes it may take half a day or a day or a couple of days or weeks because you want to be focused and you want to make sure you're writing the right material because of so many songs you already wrote. You don't want to make a mistake in writing a song that you have already written, yeah. you know? So you got to definitely focus on, 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 on writing. And what I do is focus on women all the time. Yeah. Women always like having a good time. Guys always like having a good time. So it's easy for me to come up with a hook. Once I have a hook, I will have a verse and something for the women to dance to and the guys to enjoy themselves. So writing, you can write it like this or it can take a whole year before yeah. you could write a song or finish it. Uh, for sure. What advice would you give to someone writing their first song? If, if there's a new, any young kids or whatever coming out and they, they want to write, put together their first song, where do they start? You know, if you want to, 
you know, it's all about rhyming, rhyming and making things, you know, sound the same. Like if I said, um, Mark, you would say park, you know, it's words that rhyme. And, and most of the time, what I write about is true stories, is true things that I see inspiring me to write about, you know? And you can write about fetishized stuff. You know, it's very, very easy. Take your time. Take your time and write. Make sure you're writing the right words that make sense. You know, you can write a song. It could take you a whole day. The producer, he may make a beat right there on the spot, but is also persistent on time. He may make a couple of beats and then leave it for a while and go back. He hears something else in his ear and go back and add and add and add and add. It's just adding. It's just like writing. You know, yeah. take your time and write and make sure you have uh, whatever you want the world to hear. Make sure that you want your song to play on the radio. Because yeah. if you're not positive, your song is not going to play on the radio if the words is not positive. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, would, would you recommend people going, trying to go independent stay on their own or, and, or chase the, the label? I mean, if you have money, you can go on your own. If you're willing to push yourself and know what you're doing. You can go on your own. And for some people that don't really have the resources, they can look for, you know, a record company to pick them up, you know? So it it goes, it goes both ways. Yeah. Would you recommend like getting lawyers and things like that? Yes. I recommend everyone get lawyers, whether you, you are spending your money on social media to make certain things because there's certain things that you, you're supposed to read and you're not going to understand the way a lawyer going to understand when you yeah. read it. You know, when you read it, it just sounds like, oh, it sounds good to me. But when a lawyer read it, it's, it's like, uh oh, something yeah. they need to fix, you know? Yeah. So it's always good to get a manager and a lawyer, you know, let your manager try to get a manager, let your manager, then you get a lawyer and, you know, you got to have both of them. You got to, you got to have them. Yeah. And they, they the one that represent you, they the one do the talking. Yeah, for sure. And, and is, that, is that important to get, like, for publishing as well? Do you need lawyers that, or is that something that you do yourself? Well, publishing, publishing, you, you know, you can always get publishing, you know, once you get established, your stuff is established, and you have your management, and your management and your lawyer is supposed to look after all of these things, you know, yeah. for the artist. I give an artist never, ne never really... Talk for yourself. Let someone represent you. Unless you're already big up there. You're a big artist and you you can speak for yourself and handle your business. But you always let someone represent you because you don't know how to represent yourself. Yeah, for sure. No, that, that's, that's awesome, man. Um, can't wait to hear your new music. I'm going to keep supporting you. And I'll link everything of yours on the interview when it comes out. And Thank you. So. Yeah, hundred percent, man. It's good, always good talking with you. Yeah, thank you so much. I like to move it. I like to move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. How girls all over the world. Original man, stunt man, panikies man. I love how Thomas I dance to the music. I want to dance to the music. I want to dance to the music. Nice and sweet and fantastic. Woman, you're cute, and you don't need no me a cup of original cute body. You want me, man, mother, put on your coat, and you don't need no me a cup of original cute body. You want me, man, mother, put on your physically fit, physically fit, physically, physically, physically fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Mad stunt man. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Mad stunt man. I'm going to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So appreciate thank it. You. Big up to all my fans. Follow the Mad Stuntman at the Mad Stuntman Official. The Mad Stuntman Official. Follow, 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 follow. More views. Yes. Make sure you follow on it. The man, the thank Mad you. Stuntman. Yeah. Thank Bless you, bro. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. No worries. See ya.